Hi, I'm Consuelo Cruz with Culture and Creative Services, bringing you information about upcoming arts and cultural events that are brought to you with support of the Neighborhood Tourist Development Fund. Spring is here and outdoor event season is here as well. And we are outdoors at 31st and Troost with Susie Rowling to talk about Troost Fest. It's happening May 21st from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Susie, you are an active committee member for, on the planning for the, of the festival. Can you tell us how the festival got started and what was the purpose behind it? Yes, thank you for asking. The festival was originated by community members that wanted to celebrate one another. So it's called Neighbors Celebrating Neighbors. We did not want Truce to be a dividing line. We, instead, we wanted it to be a gathering place. People from north, south, east, and west to gather and celebrate one another and our wonderful community. And you have quite a variety happening during the entire run of the festival mm -hmm. from 10 to 8 p.m. You have fun family event. It's a fun family event, mm -hmm. but it's also free. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about some of the performers and how you they were selected and what could visitors expect when they come to the event? Sure. It is a family friendly event. It's a dry event. We will have different vendors and um, lots of different food from all different ethnicities for people to enjoy and eat. We'll have a kids area with a bounce house and different arts and crafts and face paint. Um, then we'll also have a stage where different musical groups perform. We advertise on our website and word of mouth. There isn't anyone who's performing or um, coming that is getting paid for their service. Now you can sell your food items and you receive your money for that, but none of our performers receive a stipend from the festival. So it's all, everyone is doing volunteer work. And are your, your performers are not only mm -hmm. from the area, they are from across the city. So it's nice that they bring their, their representation from their communities, but they also bring audiences perhaps from all around the city. So it's, it's not just from the neighborhood. You really get a chance to share what's happening here with the rest of the Kansas City community. Is that correct? Correct. And how has attendance been? Because this is your 12th year. Attendance is great. Um, has it it's just a, grown over the it's years? It's grown, and it, since it's a free festival, so a lot of times earlier in the day there's more families, and then as the day goes on, families may have different events or soccer games or stuff to attend to. Um, we get more of a younger crowd of college students or um, single individuals living in the neighborhood. So what are the parameters? Because we're at 31st and Truce, we're at the corner of 31st and Truce, but what mm -hmm. are the parameters of the festival? The festival will go from 31st and Truce to Linwood and Truce, and the city allows us to block off the entire block. So it's very safe to, you know, there's no traffic for opportunity for anyone to, if you're hanging out in the street, to get hit by a car. <laughs> Good. And so it's really safe. And this area where we're at right now is where the kids' activities are, and we'll have it blocked off all the cars will not be here, so it'll be a safe area for the children. Well, and I think this is such a fitting place that you invited us to because we're right in front of the Alexander Austin mural that not only highlights the um, historical connections to the area, but the historical connections from the country and from um, and from the region. So it's what you were saying about connecting communities and people is so important, and it's such a great beacon to have art, but to have a mural that has all of those references that, that are what Truce mm -hmm. Festival is really celebrating. Absolutely. How would people find out more about the event? Trucevillage.org has lots of details and it'll um, have the lineup of performers. Um, Operation Breakthrough Kids will be performing and that's very exciting. Um, it's also very multicultural because correct. you have Amado Espinosa who's playing yes. music from Latin America. You have uh, you have bluegrass and folk and so it's such a variety of really what Kansas City has to offer right throughout the city. jazz yes yeah yes so it is it's great well thank you it's for wonderful festival. thank you for telling us about it thank mm -hmm. you for inviting us to the space that is at 31st and Troost and we look forward to seeing everybody here and for more information trucevillage.org thank you the Neighborhood Tourist Development Fund supports local nonprofits that bring cultural, social, educational, and recreational activities to our area.
To learn about additional upcoming events, visit kcmo.gov slash ntdf.